Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another series. And today we are going to be playing Ridge Racer 6. This game is all about drifting, going sideways, and going sideways. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, hit that join button and enjoy the video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be playing Ridge Racer 6. We're going to be going through the World Explorer and try and complete every single race in the game through this walkthrough which will be really exciting welcome to the new ridge universe that spreads across the horizons of x your mission explore and discover the many prizes hidden throughout the ridge universe in the ridge universe races are spread along routes races become more difficult as you go up and machine classes are higher as you go right the various race icons represent the rule set for each race. Choose the route to play by selecting the races that form the route. After selecting each race, you will be shown the races that can be selected next. New machines and prizes are unlocked upon completing all routes that surround an area. Welcome to the new Ridge Universe. The universe awaits you. The universe awaits you. Hello Mechanic CG, welcome to the World Explorer, a new and exciting Ridge Universe is waiting for you. First set up a route in order to unlock parts of the Ridge Universe. Routes can be composed of one race or multiple races to unlock more rewards at once. Blah. Okay, thank you. I couldn't get to read that. Um, so you've got the introduction mission here, selecting here. Uh, so what's this? Welcome to the basic route, the entrance to the Ridge Universe. Basic route is a vast and complex route divided into four zones containing 111 races. Okay. The final goal of completing the route is number 111, 96, and 84. Uh, makes no difference. Okay, fair enough. Uh, drifting. It all starts from the drift. Drifting is a technique you must master in the world of Ridge Racer. Not only does it allow for cornering, and it allows for uh, nitros as well. Interesting. Uh, nitros is used, and then rocket starts. Rocket starts are interesting. How do you do these? Uh, just before the race begins, try to keep the engine up here below the red line, and the instant the race begins with go, push the pedal down all the way. This will result in a superb start and is essential for those who wish to aim for the top times in time attack. So I've actually changed my button mapping to be the PlayStation buttons. Um, obviously, we're on Xbox, but I've got mine as accelerator being A and brake being X for this one. Um, so let's, I think we should start with our first route then. So we'll start with uh, number one, go to number two, uh, number three, four, five, and then six, I think, is the finish. Proceed with this settings. Yes, please. Let's go. Right, so for this, we're going to be taking, uh, so we get a choice of different cars. You have the Camatar Fiera, which is a standard drift type, which is very just typical. Uh, then you've got the Arj Abel, which is also a standard drift type. And then you've got the Profitee uh, by Arj, which has a mild drift type. So it's a lot more difficult to drift, but it's sort of uh, quick around corners that way. Um, and then the Bayonet, which is dynamic, um, which drifts extremely well, but it's very difficult to maintain out of corners. I played a lot of Ridge Racer when I was younger, so I know a lot of this. Um, so we're going to take... Oh, I quite like the Walkman. That looks quite nice. We'll take that one. Uh, and throughout this entire series, this is going to be the first time I actually play this game in manual transmission. So this is going to be really fun. The background music is very good. So let's get into the race. All right, now we got ourselves a heated race at Harbor Line 765. Huh? You ready? Let's get it on. I'm ready. Let's do this. Here we go. With our Three, manual transmission, Camatar Fiera. Go! Oh, and we got the uh, rocket start as well, which is very good. The one thing I absolutely love about this game okay, let's go. is him. The over-enthusiastic uh, commentator. It's just brilliant. There we go, very nice. Oh! Yeah. Oh, nearly messed that up. Watch out, Matrix. 
The fact is, this game can be picked up Just by anyone. And anyone can play this game. It is not difficult at all. I mean, it does get difficult. There are challenging races for the people that want to be challenged. But then, it's just an arcade game that you can have fun with. There's some good music. And, like I say with every single game... That was terrible. Like I say with every single game that's made by a Japanese company, Japanese games are the best. It's just their storylines are crap. But this game is so much fun alongside with Gran Turismo. They are very, very good games. And there is the Nitrous. Here we go, we got ourselves a little bit of Nitrous recharge there. Ultimate charge, that's what it's called. Two laps to go. Two laps to go, right. A little bit close to the inside there. I did get a comment um, in, uh, I think it was on um, Gran Turismo maybe, uh, where someone was asking if we could put music in the videos, and I was like, well, sometimes it's a bit difficult because a lot of games have copyrighted music, um, but this game has no copyrighted music, so hopefully putting the music in is going to make this video turn out a lot better than previous ones, hopefully. It's a chopper. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's drift time. Skirt. That was a brilliant drift. And the, the cool thing is you use uh, the nitrous as a tactic. Right, final lap. So you can either use one of those sections or you can use both of them at the same time. Or you can even wait and use three sections in one go. But I have a feeling Ooh, sweet. I'm going to use one now. Ultimate charge. Ultimate charge. Burn, baby, burn. Perfect. Look at that. Obviously, every race you have to win to move on to the next one. So if I fail any of these, they, those clips are getting deleted straight away. Because otherwise this walkthrough is going to take like 100 episodes. Because they do get very difficult. Oh, I forgot to use my nitros. I'm sad now. But uh, there go. is replay. the finish, and the replay mode in this game is very nice. Um, but by the looks of it, 1 minute 8 seconds was our fastest lap uh, for that one. So let's go on to the next race. I can feel this race is going to be really hot. Now start your engine and get ready. Let's do this. Kamatar Fiera. Two, one, go, 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 go. Okay, we didn't get the rocket start. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, some catchy tunes going on here. Yes. Yes. I'm glad this is just a game. <laughs> <laughs> what was that laugh? I thought my laugh was bad. That was like a little giggle. Whoa! Someone fired off some nitrous. The fact is, every single ridge racer has this over-enthusiastic commentator, and it is just perfect. There is no other way of describing it. As well, I don't think there's any actually, um, not de decent's the wrong word to use, because all of these walkthroughs on YouTube are amazing. Um, but there isn't one that has commentary over it, talking about the game. Um, so I thought I'd step in. Because I love Ridge Racer anyways. Um, two laps to go. Two laps to go. One guy that I watch, um, watch who does a lot of racing games is a racing game archive. Um, I 
don't think they have many subscribers either. I think they've only got like 7,000 or something like that. Um, but it is awesome to watch him just play through an entire game. His videos are like four hours long. So whenever you're, like whenever I'm editing and I want to watch a game that I haven't played in ages and I just want to see someone else's perspective, just jump on that for a couple of hours and watch that while I'm editing it is perfect. Stand by. We are about to boost. Oh, yeah! It's a new record. New record. I've never seen a trick that sick. Never seen a trick that sick. Awesome. Right, drift around here. Nitrous on standby. Let's use our nitrous quickly. Go, 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 oh, speed! Yeah. Nice. Here comes the final corner. Drift. And here we go, across the finish line. First okay. place, Next race. second race, nicely done. Ah, here we go, replay. Right, look at that, stunning. Three minutes and two seconds for that, 55 seconds for a lap. That is decent. Oh yeah, I can feel this race is gonna be really hot. Now start your engine and get ready. Right, let's do this. Lake Shore Drive. Three, let's see if we can do two, a rocket start. One, go! There we go, That's rocket the start. Seen in a while. Oh, I don't know if slipstreaming is a thing in this game. Just I know it definitely is okay. in uh, Ridge let's Racer go. 7. Uh, but I'm not sure about Ridge Racer 6. <laughs> yes. We are definitely, as soon as Ridge Racer 6 is done, we'll be moving straight on to Ridge Racer 7. I can promise you that. Whoa. Because uh, Ridge Racer 7 is actually a really fun game. It's probably a lot better than Ridge Racer 6, but you need to play Ridge Racer 6 first. Crazy nitrous. <laughs> yes. Watch out, nitrous. Nitrous on standby. Awesome. Nitrous. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Hey, hey, it's the ultimate charge. Oh, there you go. See, a standard you can sort of stop your drift. If you fail to stop it, you'll probably stop it on your second like slide. Um, whereas dynamic drift style will be very difficult to stop if you get into that sort of going side to side. Oh man, you got some insane cornering skills. Yep, if you go side to side, you'll have insane problems trying to stop it. But here we go. Look at that. Nitrous ready. Nitrous ready. This is a short race. I did not know this. Jesus. There's like nothing to this race. The cars do get faster, don't you worry. There's four vehicle classes, actually. There we go, very nice. Smash it. Nice. Uh, nice. This is probably where the uh, over enthusiastic commentator nice. in me comes from. <laughs> nice. Double nitrous ready. Let's do it. Ah, double double nitrous. Amazing. Final corner. 
Now that is how it's done. Now let's go to the next race. 53 seconds. Ah, here we go. Replay. Replay. How long did that race take? Two minutes and 50 seconds. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. We got ourselves a heated race at Cross Bay Tunnel. Yeah. Are you ready? Let's Look get it on. at that. Cross Bay Tunnel. This is one of the nicest maps. Three, uh, two, like nicest tracks one. in this game. A little bit of a uh, rocket start. I think I messed it up slightly. Ever so slightly. Okay, let's go. Perfect. These are obviously the easiest of the races, but I think the next one gets a little bit more difficult. Oh, look at that. Look how stunning this game looks. Like 60 FPS. Alongside some pretty impressive graphics for Whoa, 2006. Crazy I'm pretty sure it was 2006. It might have been 2005. Easy win. Ridge Racer 7 is even more impressive though, because that came Whoa, out in 2006 or 2007. You hey, you teach me. And the graphics of that were like Yo, insane. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Tries to trick you out this track. Uh -oh. oh. Shifted down a couple of gears there. Make sure we can get through here. Watch out! Nitrous! We got nitrous coming up from in front of us, actually. Oh, just a little bit more. <laughs> yes. Don't think we even need to drift for this corner, but this one we might do. Yeah, I probably didn't need to do that either. And where's the starting line? Just up here, somewhere. There it is. Ridge Racer. Two laps to go. That little uh, Bandy Namco in the corner, though, the uh, Pac-Man thing. Bandy Namco yeah, reference. You got two nitrous oh. ready to go. Ooh, that is just amazing. Nice. I think they put that exact same reference in um, Ridge Racer 7 as well. And in fact, I think they put in Ridge Racer PSP too. Uh, both of them. Both of the PSP Ridge Racers. Those were good. I might, if I finish Ridge Racer 6 and 7, go to the PSP versions. Awesome. Yeah! Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. There we go. Drop it down a gear. Makes it easier for us to get around the corner. The car, uh, the first place car, no, second place car. The second place car is miles behind us. But that quickly becomes much more difficult. So I don't really want to say that much. Because it will jinx it for me. The fact is, you don't actually have to shift many times um, with this. You don't end up shifting much. Because the cars can drift in their maximum gear. When you get to the faster cars, you have to sort of like shift between like seventh and sixth. Um, but yeah. I feel like it's time for a double nitrous. Perfect. Nitrous 
Mistress ready. There we go. Hey, that was cool. That was coolio. Nice Whoa! Woo Ultimate Oh, that didn't work. Managed to hit the wall a little bit there. Not ideal, but it's fine. Here we go, here we go. Groovy tunes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Nitrous red. Good nitrous. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's the final stretch. Floor. No nos left. No nitrous left. There we okay. go. Though that was a Next much race. longer race, but they were much, much longer laps. Ah, here we go. Replay. I think it was about 5:50. 5:58.555. That's a lot of fives. Uh, average speed was 215 kilometers an hour, which is 130 miles an hour. So that's very, very fast. Oh yeah, I can feel this race is gonna be really hot. Now start your engine and get ready. Airport lap. This is one of my favorite tracks out of Three, all of them. Two, one, go! One of my wow, favorites, no, awesome though. Start. Not Jump my favorite. Definitely not. Ooh, just a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, Very nice. Let's go. Easy win. Oh. Oh, bit of contact there. Go around the hairpin corner Someone section. That is one of my favourite sections, though. Is um, hairpins. <laughs> Easy win. Nitrous ready. <laughs> Uh-oh, nitrous. Right, let's use our nitrous right away. See if we can get towards the front of the pack. That is a Mappy. Yeah, Mappy. Yes. Weird name for a car. Someone using nitrous to catch up. Someone using nitrous to catch up. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it back, get it back. There we go. That happens frequently. Slight drift there, slight drift here. Probably didn't need to drift. Mandatory drift there though. Eee! Watch out! Nitrous! Eee! Sounds like he's scared of nitrous. He's scared of nitrous, but then he goes, oh yeah, nitros. Whoa! Someone fired off some nitrous. The weirdest combination ever. Nitrous! Bye-bye. laps to go. Oh, look at the planes. That looks insane. The render distance on these maps are pretty impressive. Oh yeah. Nitrous on standby. I think as well this game is running at um, 720p rather than 1080. Just because the 360 couldn't actually handle uh, 1080p. Uh, which is completely different in the PlayStation story. Because the PlayStation could handle like... Probably could handle 4K, not going to lie. Oh. The amount of performance in the uh, PlayStation 3 is insane. That was... The PlayStation 3 was a bit of an overpowered DVD player. That was the selling point for the PS2 though, wasn't it? That you could uh, use it as a DVD player. And they were like, oh yeah, this is going to sell well. 
he did. Double nitrous ready. Oh, he did say double nitrous though. Ooh, yeah, powering up ultimate charge. Probably would have been a better idea to use the double. Like at a later stage, maybe. Go, go, go! Ooh, it's a new record. Here in first Even place. the billboards, Relax, like the the scrolling text boards, ah, are over enthusiastic. There we go. The fact is, this game was perfect because it was simple. There is literally nothing advanced about this. You can even tell when you drift that it locks onto a track. Like it locks onto a position and you can't deviate from that position when you're drifting. It does, look at that. The way it goes around a square corner. Unrealistic. But it doesn't need to be realistic if it's doing what it wants to achieve. Which is an arcade drifting game. This is the most arcade racing game you will ever play, probably. No other racing game will be as arcadey as this. Yes, it is a new word in the English dictionary. Arcadey. Right, after this drift, we're going to do a triple NOS. Nitrous at max. Here we go. Final corner. And let's do some okay. finishing drift. Next race. Perfect. Replay. Replay. We'll take that and go on to the next five minutes for that. Fair enough. Right, next race. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button or check the description for our merch link. We've also got our social links down below for Twitter, Discord and Instagram. We are trying to aim for 250 followers on Twitter by the end of the year. So hopefully you guys can help support us there. And also, if you want to hit that join button, that would mean the world to me. But I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.